Tom, hey, I got a question for you, brother. What you going through right now in your life? All right, you just, just tell me, bro. Just tell me. You ain't gotta touch the mic. What you going through right now? What, what's what's the problem? What you what you think you need in your life? It's facing me or what? No, I didn't face you. Huh? Man, I'm just going through a lot right now. You know, like yeah. Like. Let me just keep it simple. Like give me give me do the round of me twenty eight fifteen real quick. Twenty eight one then twenty eight fifteen. Right? Because, uh, like I said, you ain't the only brother going through this, man. We was all like that, too. But it's something that you got to do. You feel what I'm saying? You an Israelite, and the Most High God wants you to do something. He wants you to return back to him. You feel what I'm saying? That's why you're going through what you're going through. He's not going to lift them curses off you if you're not doing what he wants you to do. If you're living your life in wickedness, you know, you might as well just, just, just keep uh, getting prepared for feeling like how you feeling. You feel what I'm saying? Bring it out. Bring it out. Yeah, 28 Bring it out. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. The Lord said, if you don't hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, read. To, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I commanded thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. On high, above all nations of the earth. You hear that? The Most High God told Moses to, 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 to transfer this message to the Israelites. If you do what I say do, I'm going to set you on high above all nations that are upon the face of the earth. Man, drop the 15 real quick, dude. Verse 15. It but it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I commanded thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these what? All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. No, all these blessings. All, all these, these curses, curses shall, shall come, come upon thee and, and overtake thee. Right. You said all these curses gonna come upon you and overtake you. You feel what I'm saying? That's why our people are living like this, bro. That's why we live in the, in, in the slums in every uh, ghetto in America. Look at this. Look, look, look how it look over here, man. You think it look like this in the, uh, in the, in the so-called white man neighborhood? No, it's clean. You feel what I'm saying? But the Most High God got a, uh, he got a spiritual, he got a, uh, a curse on you. You feel what I'm saying? But you gotta be doing, you gotta do something to lift that curse, brother. That's what we out here to teach. That's why we out here to teach our people how to live according to the law, statutes, and commandments. Cause this Bible was not for everybody. It's for the Israelites, the Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and we the only ones that can keep the commandments that's in the book. You feel what I'm saying? Then He gonna lift the curses off of us. We all was cursed before, right? But the Lord took them curses off of us. Now we can come out here in great boldness out here and come out and teach our people the Bible, man. And and, 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 and love it, man. We love doing the work of the Lord, man. You feel what I'm saying? Bring, bring, give me uh give me Psalms 94 and 16 real quick, uh, Bring that out real quick. Give me uh give me uh Sirach 2 and 1. You know, because we gotta you got like like we gotta feed you these words so that you'll know where we're coming from, brother. You feel what I'm saying? And you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans out of Israelites according to the Bible. It's time to repent in these last days because um, there's trouble coming to America, man. That's what we out here to teach. We out here to teach y'all how to, how, how to get, a, get get out of that, that wrath that's coming this way, man. Bring it out, King. What's that? Sirach 2 and 1. What you got? Psalms 94, 16. Psalms 94, verse 16. Bring it out. Who will rise up for me against the evil doors? The Lord is asking us, uh, asking our people, who going to rise up for me against the evil doors, right? So brother, I'm asking you this question, man. Who going is you gonna rise? Is you trying to rise up for the most high against the evil doers? Yes. You that, that's a good thing that you said yes, brother. Cause that's what we out here for. It's, it's, the, it's the rise brothers up like you. You are you a chosen seed of the most high God, man. You supposed to be on this side waking your people up, man. I know it's hard, man. It, it, it ain't gonna come quick. You feel what I'm saying? But you wanna you wanna hurry up and, and, and dibble and get up into these scriptures, man. That's what you wanna do. You feel what I'm saying? Cause right now you now you being marked. The Most High God is marking you with your with, with His word right now. Keep keep going. Right. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? See, that's what we out here to do. We out here to stand up against the workers of iniquity, man. You feel what I'm saying? But we really out here to prophesy the downfall and of this wicked ass kingdom and to wake our people up. You know, we we out here to tell the, uh, the, to tell everybody. Hey, to, to blow the trumpet to let everybody know that this time, man, times is getting rough in these last days, man. And if you ain't got the Lord on your side, man, you finished, man. 
Yeah. Ain't no if ands or buts about that. I was in on that. Right. Give me, give me. That's right. Give me Proverbs thirty and five. Right. Bring it out. Right. This is the book of Sirach, chapter two, verse one. Bring it out. My son. If thou come to serve the Lord, the Lord is telling you right now, he warning you. If you come to serve the Lord, man, not going to church, sitting in the church, clapping. You feel what I'm saying? Because they don't teach the truth in the church. Not going to church and clapping and, 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 and you know, hooting and hollering. Not, that, that's not what he's talking about. He's talking about if you come to serve the Lord, keep these law, statutes, and commandments, read. Prepare thy soul for temptation. The Lord said, what? Prepare thy soul for temptation. Prepare your soul for temptation, brother. You feel what I'm saying? That's what we, that's the times we live in these days. You gotta repent, brother. Repent. Come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord. Repent. You know what it means to repent. You do? What it mean? Con, con. Drop that. Give me Acts three nineteen real quick. I'm about to show you. I'm about to show you real quick. Right. Let's Acts 3, 19 here. Psalms 19. Give me uh, Psalms 32 and, uh, 32 and 5, too. 319. Bring it out. Acts 3, chapter 3, verse 19. Repent, repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. That's what you want, brother. You feel what I'm saying? That's what you want. You want your sins to be blotted out, right? Because that's what repent is. For the most high, you, you go to the most high and ask him for forgiveness and your sins can be blotted out. That's what you want. Somebody give me Amos 9 and 10. Keep going. And when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. See? That's what we out here to do, man. We out here to teach you to repent. So when the time of, the, uh, when the time of the, uh, refreshing for the Lord come, you'll be ready, brother. You'll be, man, keeping the commandments, and you're going to get delivered up out of this wrath that's coming to this place. Did you know America about to get destroyed by thermonuclear destruction? Did you know that was coming? That's what we out here to warn the people, man. That's real tough. What you got? I, I knew it was coming. Bring it up. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. The what? The law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul. The law of the Most High God is what's going to convert your soul, brother. You feel what I'm saying? That's going to bring you back to life. You feel what I'm saying? Because without the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible, you just a dead man walking. You dry bones. And we out here to tell our people the truth. We not out here to sugarcoat nothing. We not out here to uh, to, to speak smooth things to people. You feel what I'm saying? We out here to really tell y'all what y'all got to do to repent these last days, right? Keep going. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Testimony of the Lord is sure, man. These these words in this Bible is sure. The law, statutes, and commandments is sure, brother. You feel? You hear what I'm saying? Of course I do. That's what that, that that's what times we're living in nowadays, brother. You gotta repent. Tell the Most High God you repent as an Israelite. You know you an Israelite now. Now give me the spirit to keep these law, statutes, and commandments, Lord. You feel what I'm saying? So what that what that say? What, what I had you get? What I just had you open? Kind of bring it, huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what I wanted, but I want. Kind, 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 kind. Bring it out. Bring it. Out. This aim, three. This Amos chapter three. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, "You only have I known." The Lord said, "He only know us. We, he only know the Israelites. These people on the sign right here, right? Keep going." Of all the families of the earth. See, of all the families of the earth, the Lord only dealing with the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. You feel me? But what? Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. He's going to punish you for all your iniquity. He don't care what the so-called white man do. He don't care what the so-called Arab man do. He don't care what the so-called uh, Filipino man do. All them people beyond the outside of this people on this sign right here, he don't give a good goddamn what they do, man. He care what you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans do. That's what he care about, right? And he going to punish you for your iniquities. And when you mess up, you feel what I'm saying? Let's just see how you going to do it. Right, but, he, but, 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 but it's just like when you got a, ch a child and you, and you uh, yo, yo, your son or your daughter up the street and they getting into it, they get they, they be doing something they ain't supposed to be doing, you going to go up the street and whoop all the kids? No, you going to whoop your children. You feel what I'm saying? You know better than that. That's right, but this, and this is the reason why. Who more cursing the so-called black and Hispanic on the planet? 
they, they, you right, you right to a certain extent. <laughs> yeah. You right to a certain extent, but I'm just saying, who more, who, who, who more cursed in the soul than our people though? You feel what I'm saying? Who at the bottom? Our people was at the bottom, right, brother? Yeah. That right, and it's because it, it's a reason. Because we keep sinning and going off, and the Most High God ain't with that, huh? Cause we just broke. Cause we broke God's like, command. Cause we broke God's commandments, just like we just brought out to you, right? Bring that. Bring bring uh, angles nine and ten out real quick. Who don't like how we do right? Right. You know why? Right. Right. Cause we the nation not desire. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Watch this. Amos chapter nine verse ten. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. All the who? All my people, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. The Lord said, all the sinners of his people shall die by the sword. You feel me? That's what, that, that, that's what times we're living in, man. You got to that, that you gotta be soaking that in, in your mind. You feel what I'm saying? All the sinners of his people shall die by the sword. Keep going. I, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. You hear that? So the Lord is telling us, man, yo, man, it's time to repent, because guess what? All the sinners of my people are going to die by the sword, man. Amen. Rather it be by one of these damn racist-ass police officers, or why it be, be by one of your brothers, man? A nigga you grew up with, man. You feel what I'm saying? That's all judgment from the Lord. So like, yeah, like he just said, man, like the police officers, them two cops that just rode by, they was plotting on us, man. They was trying to figure out how they could take us to jail right now. I wasn't worried about that. I know we're not worried. We just got we gotta be observant because they trying to take us out out here. Right? Because uh, like I said, man, like I said, our people is the ones getting trotted down in these neighborhoods, man. The so the, the cops is out man, that that that's a police officer keep riding through. He, he can't wait to get some action. He looked like one of them red hair skinheads, man. One of them skinheads that's ready to take y'all in one of these alleys and, and, and kill one of y'all, man. And then and then and then hold himself not guilty for it, man. Cause cause Esau, he gotta, he gotta, he he what, what's the scripture where it say Esau, he can't uh he gotta do some wickedness before he go to sleep? What scripture is that, man? That's a joke. Yeah, he, he can't he he need, he gotta be doing some wickedness before he go to sleep. Bring that out, huh? Second Ezra chapter 14, verse 14. Bring it out. Let us go from the mortal thoughts. The Lord is telling you, brother, to let go from your mortal thoughts. Read. Cast away the burden of men. Now you gotta cast away the burdens of men in your mind. You feel what I'm saying? Keep going. Put off now the weak nature. Right, the weak nature is the nature we grew up in, man. Hating our brothers, man. Out here killing our brothers. Out here just just being just being weak. You feel what I'm saying? Not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of, of, of the Most High God. You feel what I'm saying? That's weak nature. You feel what I'm saying? The Most High God, He requiring us to rise up in these last days. Keep going, bro. And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. Right, just like you said, you're going through a lot. Set aside those thoughts that are most heavy unto you, man. Why? In hasty to flee from these times. Right, you got to haste to flee from this, this, this society, man. These times, man. Keep going. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done. You hear that? Greater evils are coming these days, man. You feel what I'm saying? So you want to set aside all that and get inside these scriptures, man. Get inside these law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible. You feel what I'm saying? That's what you want to be doing these last days. You feel me? All of us out here used to be in the, uh, used to be doing wickedness, man. But now we got that protection from the Lord. Somebody give me Psalms 30 and 5 real quick. Keep going. Huh? Well, look how much the world shall be Probably weaker. Or look how much the world shall be weaker uh -huh. through age. So much the more shall evils increase upon them See? that dwell therein. So evils is about to increase in these last days. You feel what I'm saying? Give me uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7. Evils about to increase in these last days. That's what we're really out here to warn our people to repent because evils is coming, man. You said 34 and 7? No, 30 and 7. 30 and 7. Bring that out. The, 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 the wickedness is, the, you think it's bad now. It's nothing, man. But we out here to blow the trumpet to let you know to repent so you won't get overtook in that. You feel what I'm saying? We got we, we out here to do a job. This is a job. We don't we don't call we don't ask for no money. We not out we are, all we want is your ears. How y'all sisters doing? Y'all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? If y'all black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, y'all Israelites according to the Bible. Hey. That's what we out here to teach our people that they God's chosen people. That's right. She look familiar. The tall one, right? Yeah. yeah. She looks familiar. Yeah, I think her name is Bernice. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. Come on, bring it up, man. You said 30. 30 and 7. Unless. Wait, yeah. my bad. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. Bring it out. Unless. For that day is great, uh -huh. so that none is like it. That day is great, so that none is like it. Not even slavery in the times in the 60s and 40s when we was getting tried down by the so called white man. Ain't no day gonna be like this day. This is what we out here to warm you about. Keep going. So none is like it. Uh -huh. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, uh -huh. but he shall be saved out of it. Right. So the Lord is telling us, man, he, he telling us we're gonna be saved out of it, man. You feel what I'm saying? But we but the time the great trouble is coming to, towards us, man. And that's what we out here to tell our people to repent. So we won't be a partake in that. So the most high can cover us, man. Bring that out. Huh? This is Malachi chapter four, verse one. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. They gonna come that the whole earth is gonna burn as an oven. Keep going, huh? And all the proud Yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day cometh shall burn them up. See? The day cometh that's going to burn them up. Why, why is America going to get burnt up? What's going to burn America up? Thermonuclear destruction, man. That's what, that's what we out here to prophesy in the downfall of this kingdom. You feel what I'm saying? It's going to be millions of nukes burning America up, man. You feel me? But guess what? The people who serve in the Most High God, we ain't going to get touched, man. You feel what I'm saying? The angels gonna beam us up up out of that, man. That's what we trying to teach our people, man. We gonna get saved up out of that if we keep the commandments. Keep going. Saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch, but unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings. See? The Son of Righteousness gonna rise with healing in his wings, man. You, that's what we need in these last days, man. We need Yahweh Shai, man. Hey. The world ignorantly calls Jesus, man. You feel what I'm saying? The black messiah, man. Right. The one with, with, with white woolly hair, man. With the skin of bronze, man. The so-called black man from the tribe of Judah. That's the same right. tribe as you so-called black men, man. Come on, man. We the, we the son of the earth. And, and that's what we are here to teach our people, man. To come back to, to royalty, man. Come back to keeping the laws and, and, and being under God's wing, man. Who got that Psalms 30 and 5? You got more on that? Uh, nah, Psalms 30 and 5. Bring it up. I mean, Proverbs 30 and 5. My fault. It's Proverbs. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 30, verse 5. Bring it out. Every word of God is pure. Hold on. What do you say? Every, Every word, word of God, God is pure. pure. Every word in these scriptures is pure, brother. And I'm going to give you a testimony. I could be down and out, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Sometimes I'll I, 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 I be slipping on my reading. You feel what I'm saying? As soon as I get in that book, that, that it go right away. You feel what I'm saying? You got it. Listen, the scriptures is, is calling for us to meditate in this word day and night. That's where you. That's where you. That's what. Why you feeling like that? Cause you're not reading the words of life. You feel what I'm saying? You got to read the, 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 these scriptures. What's gonna bring you to life? You feel what I'm saying, brother? That's what you need. The law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God, man. There's some fringes on your clothes, man. You got your beard on your face. You doing one commandment, man? Did you know that was a commandment to have a beard on your face? It's a commandment, man. That's a sin to make your face bald like the so-called white man. Because that's what the Lord said. Khan, Khan, get it, get it for him. You get it for him. I keep reading this stuff. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. See? That's what you want the Lord to be. You want the Lord to be a shield to you that put your trust that that put when you put your trust in him. You want the Lord to be a shield to you, cause man, the the, 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 the days of trouble is coming. Like I just read in Jeremiah thirty. You feel what I'm saying? How you doing? How you doing, sister? You got a time? You got a couple minutes for this word? No, well, you a, sister, you an Israelite according to the Bible. Add our add our page on uh, Facebook. It's H O I Buffalo, and you will get all the edification. You will see we we out here doing teaching our people. Yes, teaching our people who they are according to the Bible. You are God's chosen people, the Israelites. That's we, we're not black. Black is the color. Black is just the color. It's the color in the crayon box. We come from we come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's we are really the seed of uh, of man, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We are the Lord's children. But we got brought over into this country because we kept sinning against the Most High. So we had to do, we had to keep captivity, man. Get, 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 uh, Brute 401 real quick for it. Or, uh, no, no, no. Brute 3 and 8. Bring it out. Bring it out. Watch this. Watch this. Baruch chapter 3, verse 8. Bring it out. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. See, the Lord said, We are yet this day in our captivity, Reed. Where thou hast scattered us. See? They, he, yeah. they scattered us all through all the four corners of the earth. Because we come from Israel, but they came and got us from the rest of Africa, right? Keep going. Okay, okay. 
for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payment. See, we got to see we, we, we a reproach and a curse to be subject into payment, right? Sister, you got a car note? You got you got to pay bills? You feel me? You subject to payment in this country. This is not our country. We're not from here. Did you, you know we're not from here. You know we came over here in slave ships. Did you know that was in the Bible? Did you know our, our captivity, us coming over here on slave ships was in the Bible? Get that for it real quick. One more scripture, sister. Get that for it real quick. Deuteronomy 28 and 8, 68. Bring that up. Bring that up. Because we this is what we out here to teach our people. That these, these this, this Bible, the same Bible, right, sister? That you had, that they read in church. They don't bring it out. They don't bring the truth out. You know why? Give me um Daniel 12 and 4 real quick. You know why? Because they don't they don't have the truth of the Bible. They don't know the truth. They 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 got taught this Bible from a so-called white man. And he told them, and, and he taught them slave doctrine. And then they taught him slave doctrine. And they taught them slave doctrine. And we go to church and listen to it and just clap our hands. But this Bible is really talking to us. We the children of God. We God's chosen people out here, man. We the Israelites, man. Us blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are the Israelites according to the Bible. Right. We are God's chosen people, and we got to repent in these last days because trouble is coming. God. America going to get burned up with thermonuclear destruction. It's prophesied in the Bible. Say what you got? Huh? Bring it out. Watch this, right? sister. This is the it's book of over. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, yeah, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord yeah, shall bring thee into Egypt again. The Lord said, what? And the Lord shall bring thee and eat Egypt, Egypt, Egypt again, again with, with ships. ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. With ships. The Lord gonna bring us into Egypt again, right? Because we was doing, we was serving slavery in Egypt, right, sister? We was the, the Israelites was the slaves in Egypt, right? So the Lord said, if you don't do what I say, I'm gonna bring you into Egypt again, which just means slavery, right? You want to get that for real quick? Uh, what is it? Exodus um, 20. Exodus 20. And, yeah. Or it's Deuteronomy uh, 5 and 6, right? Exodus Come on, bring it up. Yeah, this is Exodus 20 and 2. Let's tell you what Egypt means. Watch that. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Egypt just means the house of bondage. Bring it out, Watch that. Bring out that fire, This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way, whereof I speak unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. See, we ain't gonna see our homeland again. That's what the Lord is saying, sister. Watch it. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. To our friends. Unto your enemies. To our brothers. Unto your enemies. They ain't love us, man. Unto your enemies. We got sold unto our enemies. The Bible is calling the so-called white men our enemies in these last days. That's right? right? That's what the Bible is, pre pre uh, uh, is predicting, man. Listen, hold on. This, this this is the book of prophecy, and that's what we come out here to do every single week. Oh, I... We come out here and prophesy against this wicked kingdom, man. Because this wicked kingdom goes contrary to what we need to be doing. You feel what I'm saying? Like, everything we learn is from TV. We believe everything we see on TV, but we don't go search the scriptures, man. We don't go search the scriptures and, uh, and, and find out that we God chosen people are supposed to be keeping the commandments in these last days. Sister, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I used to be out here ripping and running with niggas. You feel what I'm saying? But I seen this truth and it resonated with my spirit. And I felt like, yo, I got to get out here and teach my people this truth, man. So that's what my whole life is about. My whole life revolves around this Bible. You feel what I'm saying? My whole family in order. You feel what I'm saying? So in these last days, it's we living in a time of repentance. That's what we living in. Because we're not going to learn this in church. If that's the case, if the church was the truth, we would have been out of this captivity right now. Right. We serve in servitude when really the Lord said we we, we the uh, salt of the earth and that we're over all the nations of the earth. We're supposed to be ruling this kingdom. Give me uh give me uh Isaiah 40 real quick. Isaiah 40. Bring it out. Keep going. What you got more on that? Keep going. For bond men, slave men, and bond women. Listen, we're going to be sold when we got off those slaves just for slave men and slave women. Watch this. And no man shall buy you. No man shall save us. No man shall redeem us because we still here in this captivity to this day. That's right? Good. Keep going. Huh? These. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. So you see that, man? Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6 real quick. What you got? Huh? What I told you to do. Isaiah. Okay, sister. H O I Buffalo. Yo, give her that last oh, one. Oh, no, give her that. Facebook. Give her that. Give her what? 7 and 6. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Bring it out. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. 
The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people. Uh, under people. Above, above all people. Under the foot. Above all people. Or say we're above all people. That's all upon, that's all upon the face of the earth, man. And we gotta come back to our, our, our God given nationality to start ruling like men, man. Right. We're gods on this earth, the Lord said, man. Right, right. Come on, man. That's what times we're living in this day. How you doing, brother? Right. You know, but, the, you know, but the Bible also says the earth is the city of refuge, so we're also prisoners. Exactly, we are prisoners. That's what we. That's that's what we out here teaching. You know why we prisoners? Because we out here because we getting tried to because we living in this country that's not ours. We prisoners because we got to serve the white man. We prisoners because you know we 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 uh we we following the doctrine of men. You feel what I'm saying? That's why we prisoners because we are not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. You feel what I'm saying? So what's your nationality, if I may ask, brother? Huh, that's a that's that's a tough question. Cause what do I say? I'm African American. Right, that's what I'm trying to say. Do you do? do you, are you African American? Do I say I'm African? Do I say? And that's what so, we out here for to teach you who you are. That's what you teach about. Isaiah one but, three, real quick. You know, my my thing is, uh, I I've gone to church. You know, I I belong to a church. But, oh, you belong to a church? Yeah. But see, my thing is, a lot of stuff out here is, 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 is backwards. You know? Right, right. And why is that? Why is that? Because people, people are lost. People why Why are they lost, though? Why would the Most High allow everybody to get lost? It's, it's a, it's a, God, God's will. God, okay, watch this. God controls everything. So okay, so, 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 do it. Everybody has their own, their, own, their own, I can't say their own, their own way, but. If God wanted something to happen, it'll happen. So for somebody to be lost, God has to choose them to be found. Okay, right. That's the whole point. That's the whole point. The God, bro, hold on. I got a preset. Watch this. This is Jeremiah 50, verse 6. My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill. Hear that? Hold on. Who is God's people? Uh, right, right. The twelve tribes of Israel, right? That's God's people. That's what he's talking about. He said his people, right? Keep going. Uh, they have forgotten their resting place. See, we've forgotten our resting place. That's a fire preset right there. I'm gonna start using that. That's a fire preset right there, King. Come. On. Yo, which one was that? Come. On. Jeremiah 56. Ah, I'm gonna start using that instead of Isaiah. Come. On, that's fire. What, hold on, hold on, hold on. 15 and 6. Give, give me what I need real quick. Hold on, hold on, before you, before you, uh, before you go. Can I ask you guys a question? Go ahead. What do you think about God being a who? God being a who? What? what do you think give, me, I, give me, uh, Exodus 15 and 3. Deuteronomy give me, actually, 15 and 3. Yeah, Exodus 15 and 3. Give me that. Ex I mean, what is it? Exodus 15 and 3? Yeah. Exodus 15 and 3. Give me that. Give me Exodus 15 and 3 real quick. You said, why would you say that, brother? I got it. Where it says in the Bible. Where it say that at? Genesis 126. Oh, you talking about what he said? What, no. 126. Hold on, Aaron said, come, come, bring it out. This is Exodus 15, verse 3. Bring it out. The Lord is a man of war. No, he is a woman of war. Is a man of war. The Lord is a man of war, brother. So, God is both. Man and woman. No, he's not man and woman. No, God is a man of war. How does that how does that sound, brother? Because God invisible God's God's properties are seen. Daniel God's invisible yeah, properties are seen through. Now wait, you said that God you said in Genesis one and twenty six it said that God is a man and woman. Yeah. Okay. Bring it out. Genesis one and twenty six. Uh -huh. And God said, Let us make man. In our image. You see that? Where do we say that at? He said, let us. Let us. Let us. Let Who's us the us? Make man of our image. And then God created man in his own image, which was man and woman. No, brother. No, the man was made first. You feel what I'm saying? The, 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 the most high God is not a woman. He's a man. The, the, the scripture just said the Lord is a man of war, so right? Like, get back to your point. Yeah. You said, the who is the, the us? Hold on. Is, is God more than one? Or is it more than so, one person in this right here? God, it said, so hold on, wait. A house. Hold on, wait one second, brother. It said, and God said, let us. Is us a singular or is plural? So that means that more than one thing is right there. 
That word God right there is Allah Hayyam, meaning powers. It's more than one. This is the angels. This is not just the Most High God. But then the Most High God spoke it, and it was, and it so it was. That's how it was. God said, "Let there be light," and there was light. You feel me? So when this here says, and God said, let us, the power said, let us make man in our image. It's not just one. Right. So we, we, so the Lord is a man. You feel what I'm saying? We, we, there, there's no way to go the Lord is a, the Bible said he was a man of war. So you can't be yeah. a man and a woman God at the same time. Man. <laughs> he's, not, man. he's not. He's the creator of man. Bring it up. 18 7 verse 9. Bring it out. I beheld till the thrones were cast down in the ancient of of days did sit, uh -huh. whose garment was white as snow. Let's talk about the, the most high. Keep going. In his in his hair, his hair, read, in his hair, uh -huh. like the pure wool, his hair like the pure wool, read. His throne and his throne was like the fury flame, and his wheels, his wheels, read, as burning fire. Lord is a man, man. He, he's a man. He's just no way the Lord is a woman, man. I don't know where you, where you get that from, brother. I understand. I understand. God is a man. God is a man. But All praises. The, yeah, the term God is like a household name. Right, um, right. That's, you, why we, that's why we don't... When you get married, we, your wife takes your last name, right? That's right, because that's why we... So listen. There, or just as a, a house. There could be four people in, the, in your house. Or in your home, mm -hmm. but all of them go into your first Corinthians uh, 11. So 11 and 3. And so, wanna, yeah, right, right, right. So, 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 it, so, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Is a man and a woman equal? In terms to what? I mean, in terms to anything, is man, the, 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 does the man rule over the woman? That's what I'm asking you. Does the man rule over the woman, or are they, or are they equal according to the Most High God? The man is supposed to be. The man is supposed to be the woman. Yeah, first part is the woman. However, if we're talking in terms of, uh, of so you said, God, okay, hold on, brother, because you said, you know, you said you said the whole house was the, uh, this, the, the was one family, right? Which is true, but they all got different roles. The, it, it, it's, 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 it's levels to this. You feel what I'm saying? We got a head. Christ got a head. You feel what I'm saying? The woman. We are the one. Read this, man. Read this. Right, watch this. Listen. Listen. Watch this. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3 but I hope but I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ and the head of every woman is the man the head of the woman is the man really? and the head of Hamashiach is God the head of Christ is God so it's an order in that household right you feel what I'm saying you got the most high God Christ has a head which is the most high God we have a head, which is Christ. We, uh, the woman has a head, which is us. And the children, the, the woman rule over the children. It's an order. You feel what I'm saying? But that don't mean we are we, we, we are a woman. We all in one flesh? No. So, so what, what would, how would you explain the last message in the Bible where it says, uh, uh, I can't, I don't remember it for Daniel, but... Where is it? What book is it in? Revelation, literally one of the last, one of the last verses. What it say? Go get it, get it, get it real quick. Uh, and the spirit of say, "Come and let them hear." We say, "Come, uh, come and drink from." Uh, I forget verbatim, but it's literally Revelation, like uh, 22, twenty-two verse yeah. eighteen or something like yeah, that. Yeah, bring it out. Let's we go. We we gonna shine some shine some light on that because I can guarantee you it ain't saying. It ain't, it ain't saying that the man and woman is the same. Yeah, bring bring the uh, last the last chapter. Of the yeah, bring it out. <laughs> God, um, this is Revelation. Eighteen, eight, twenty-two and eighteen. Bring it out. For for I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if okay, any man shall take away from the words of this prophecy, that's just take, that's take it away. right? Uh, uh, verse twenty: He which testify these things, surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Yahweh Shai. The grace of our Lord Yahweh Shai be with you all. Amen. The verse where it says the Spirit and the Bride say come. That's, that's I know that's why. Like, you know what that's you dealing with, though. Come. The Spirit. Hold on. The Spirit is. The spirit hold on. I gotta preach that real quick. Because you're talking about the feminine character in the Bible. 
Okay, this is Proverbs 1 and 21. She crieth in the, hold on, uh, Proverbs 1 and 20. Wisdom crieth without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. So the, the feminine character in the Bible is wisdom. Right, right. That's what, that's, that's what, right. That's another, that's what, see the, see the Bible is written in parables, brother. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you gotta, God and, and, the Bible right, the, the, the Bible is written in parables and dark okay. sayings, so you gotta get, you gotta read the Bible precept upon precept to understand, to actually understand what it's talking about. You feel what I'm saying, brother? And, and, and that's what the Christian church don't teach, but we teach that. You feel what I'm saying? We teach the, 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 the read the Bible precept upon precept. The Bible is also locked in seven seals, so. Yeah. Okay, right. So, only, uh, I have a, Bring it this is Revelation chapter 18 verse 23 Bring it out. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee And the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all For the merchants were great men of the earth For by the, thy sorceries were all nations deceived That's what you was talking about? No, it, it's literally a verse in Revelation I got, I got another uh, uh, one uh, this, I got a precept this Revelation 22 and 17. And the Spirit and the bride say, Come, and let him him that heareth say, Come, and let him that is a thirst come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. You know what that's talking about? Yeah. Christ prepared us as a bride. Right, right. Getting ready for our husband, which is the most high God. Right, right. You're talking about the you talking about us, the Israelites.